find the exact value of each expression do not use a calculator okay so we have sine 45 degrees cosine 45 degrees cosecant 30 degrees so let's find the value of sine 45 and we know the triangle right triangle with 45 degrees that has sides a b c that's 1 1 root 2 and for 30 degrees we go by 60 degree triangle when we have 60 that's now 1 root 3 2 and this angle is in fact 30 degrees for 30 degrees this is adjacent opposite have it news okay now let's find the values of sine 45 cosine 45 cosine cosecant 30 degrees sine is b over c so 1 over root 2 if you already know the value of sine 45 you don't have to make go for these triangles times cosine 45 a over c 1 over root 2 cosecant 30 okay cosecant 30 so here is here is 30 degree angle b over c is sine cosecant is the reciprocal so c over b so 2 over 1 just 2 now let's multiply uh, root 2 times root 2 on the bottom root 2 times root 2 just 2 or you can go in this way root 2 times root 2 is root 4 and the square root of 4 is 2 so 2 times 1 times 1 2 on the top root 2 times root 2 is 2 on the bottom and 2 over 2 just 1 okay next pi over 6 let me rewrite this in terms of degrees measure pi over 6 is same as pi is same as 180 degrees over 6 so that's same as 30 degrees minus sine is square pi over 4 if we replace pi by 180 degrees divided by 4 that will be 45 next tangent 30 let's go for this triangle with 30 degrees tangent is b over a so 1 over root 3 square that's outside tangent 30 is b over a that's 1 over root 3 or if we if you know the value of tangent 30 that's 1 over root 3 you don't have to consult that triangle is square minus sine 45 is 45 that's b over c so 1 over root 2 and square that's quantity square let's simplify 1 is square is just 1 over root 3 is square that's the square and the square root cancel 3 so 1 third minus 1 is square 1 over root 2 is square square and root to cancel just 2 now we need to combine these two fractions 1 third minus 1 1 half we need to make common denominator multiply this by 2 over 2 multiply this by 3 over 3 so that 6 is the common denominator 2 minus 3 negative 1 so negative 1 over 6 and we always put negative in the front 1 over 6 final